Hello there. Here's a quick tour through Key Hydra's interface. We can open Key Hydra from the main menu, Show. First thing we need to do is defining our keyboard layout. It has to be the same as our real keyboard. We currently support seven of them. That's German, there's French, Italian, QWERTY UK, QWERTY US, Spanish and Swedish as well. Look, we'll select French first of all and just see what happens here. Here we go and switch. Here we go. This, uh, and now we can see the keys have changed. I personally use QWERTY US keyboard, so I'll select that again. Here we go, collect it there, and it's done. It's back to US QWERTY. Now, what's the next thing I want to show you? As we can see here, my current profile is set to max default. No key hydra functions are assigned yet, so we currently use our max default shortcuts, and I'll click on the plus new profile icon and rename it. We're going to rename it to my new profile. OK, that's the new name for it. So I've just created a new profile, and a profile will contain our functions assignments, all important functions. We'll now save it with the disk icon, Save Profile. The second disk icon stands for Export Profile. Export and Luggage icon stands for Export Profile with all assigned function to a single zip file. Very useful if you want to share your settings with a friend or if you need to move from one computer to another. You've got it all there. This drop-down can show you all available profiles. As you can see, we currently only have two profiles. Let's zoom out. We'll import another profile with the folder icon. So, so here we go. Let's select this zip file here. Now, if any function's name you're trying to import conflicts with another already imported function, Key Hydra will ask you if you want to overwrite them. And voila! We just imported a profile with assigned functions. This kind of profile can be exported with the luggage icon, and we can now delete it with the trash icon. But first, I'd like to show you another feature. At the bottom here, we have six profiles. One, two, three, four, five, six. You see them? We can switch from one profile to another by just clicking on the checker. Very, very easy indeed. The chosen profile will be loaded immediately as you can see. So we can try other profiles very easily and set different profiles for different workflows. I can now delete Armor Pack Profile, just delete it there, and that's all you need to know about profiles, really. Now, let's talk about the all-important functions now. I'm going to create one on the C key. Very powerful, this. Right-click, Create Function, and different function types do exist. For now, we will choose one multi-tap function. Other function types will be parts of other tutorials coming up. It'll be our cut function, so we'll name it cut. There we go, C-U-T. We can now select the behavior of this new function by unfolding the tree and go to the tap field. Now, we'll pick cut action as single tap input. Just watch what I'm doing here. Picking cut action as a single tap input. And it's all very easy. You just have to select what you want to select and it just certainly makes the function for you. You right-click on, on it and copy and paste onto the double-tap import. Same thing for triple-tap import, basically. It's all very easy, and it's all obvious. Then double-tap, I'm going to change the action to Paint Connect for this particular thing here. And finally, as triple-tap, I will select Connect Edges. And you can see me doing that there now. There we go. We can now save the function, clicking the Save button. And there you go. Once back to our keyboard layout, we can see that our newly created Key Hydra function is there, is now assigned to the C key. We can click twice on the C icon, and this brings us back to the C key assignment tab. Basically, it's a summary of all the actions assigned to that key. All right, so we can try it out. Let's do this and try it out ourselves. I'm going to press the C key once. It should trigger the cut key. And, yep, done. The cut tool was activated as expected. All clever stuff. I'm now going to press the C key twice. It should trigger the paint command. And, done. Yep, the paint connect tool has been activated here. So, one final thing. I want to test the connect edge action, which was assigned to triple tap C key. And, 
It's done indeed. The connect edge action was performed. So very, very powerful stuff. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Indeed, goodbye. Key Hydra, the power under one finger.